Hello and welcome to video number one for GMAS. This video will cover installing the GMAS extension and an introduction to mail merge with Google Sheets, which is one of our great features. So if you may be asking, what is GMAS? Well, it's a good question. GMAS is a very powerful mass mail system for Gmail, has many, many features. Uh, probably the top four features that people ask about are tracking. This allows you to send email. You know how many people opened it, um, when they opened it, and if they clicked on a link inside the email. Personalization is great. It allows you to personalize each email with their name, their title, etc. Mail merge allows you to merge a list of existing uh, names and email addresses in so that you can easily send out a large number of emails. And then scheduling is also a great feature because you may want to set up a campaign to send today, but you might not want it to go out until tomorrow, or you may want to spread it out over several days. So, a couple of assumptions we need to make up front, and that is that you have a Gmail account because GMAS works with Gmail. Also that you have the Chrome browser because we work with the Chrome browser as well. So I want to move forward and go to gmas.co. So let's go over there and take a look. Our website is very comprehensive. It's got a lot of information right on the front page about how to use our product. Um, we want to make it as simple as possible for people. So we have a lot of tips here on the front page, um, various sections on many of the features that we have. Um, here's a list of current features. A lot of them have a little link you can click on to get more detail on each one. And as you can see, there's a lot of features. Then we list upcoming features. And as we uh, implement them and finish testing them, we cross them off. So you can see we're always improving. Frequently asked questions, a lot of people like to refer to that section because um, they have questions. For example, what do you need in order to use GMAS? Uh, as I said, right now you, you need Gmail and you need uh, the Chrome browser, but eventually we're going to add support for Safari and Firefox. So that's pretty exciting as well. Now. We want to add GMAS to Chrome. Before we do that, let's make sure we're signed in to Google. And this is our Google account. You see that D up there that tells us that we're signed in. I'm going to go to Gmail and open the actual Gmail. And here it is. You can see right now it's just your standard Gmail screen. Um, if you've ever composed a message in Gmail, you know that the compose section looks like this. You type in to the subject, you type your message, you hit send. Well, after we add the GMAS extension, you're going to see that things are going to look a little bit different. So let's go ahead and do that then. Let's go back over here and we want to add GMAS to Chrome. We're going to click on that blue button. So let's click on that and it's going to confirm that's what we want to do. Yes, we want to add the extension. And it is adding it right now as we speak. And look at this. You must connect to GMAS for Gmail. I'm sorry, you must connect to GMAS for to Gmail for GMAS to work. So let's connect it. Now it's going to ask us if it's okay to view and manage your email, know who you are in Google, view your email address, and view and manage your spreadsheets in Google Drive. And we need to do that in order to operate GMAS, so we're going to say allow. So that's working on that right now. It's connecting. And you can see up here it's added a couple new buttons. It's got, uh, we're going to have a couple, we're going to have a few different things about our sheet. We'll get to that in a second. Right now it says show me some magic. So let's do a little demonstration about how GMAS works. It's created a test message. It has merged in uh, 10 emails. And the subject is my very first Gmail. I'm sorry, my very first GMAS email campaign. You can see here it says, hey, first name. This is the personalization uh, feature, which I'm going to get into a little more detail here in just a minute. And this is a test message. So it's just saying, click the red GMAS button below and individual emails will be sent. So let's go ahead and do that. And it says, please wait for GMAS. It's processing it right now. Just thinking for a minute, it's merging. There it goes. GMAS has processed your mass email and 10 emails have been sent. So 
Now, it kind of did that without uh, explaining too much about what was going on, so I want to do that for a minute right now. Let's, um, let's go and take a look at Google Drive. Now, if you have a Gmail account, you have Google Drive. Google Drive is a place to store things. It's also a place to create new documents. So what we want to do is go to New Google Sheet. Now, the nice thing about Google Sheets is that it saves everything up in the cloud. You don't have to save it to your computer. It's automatically saved the moment you do it. I created a very small spreadsheet earlier on my computer. And as you can see, it's a very short list. These are just fictitious people that I made up for the purpose of this demonstration. We have first name, last name, and their email address, and then three people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight these fields, and I'm going to copy these fields, and I'm just going to paste it into that new Google Sheet that I created. And there they are. Now, I don't have a title for this spreadsheet yet, so I'm going to call it what I called my spreadsheet on my computer. I'm going to call it three customers. And you don't have to click save or anything. It's saved automatically in the cloud. Let's go back over to our inbox and let's click up here where it says connect to an email list in the Google Docs spreadsheet. Let's do that. Now it wants to know what spreadsheet we want to connect it to. Well, because we're signed into Gmail, it automatically knows, look, there's that spreadsheet, three customers. So we're going to highlight that one, and we're going to say connect to spreadsheet. And look, we have a new message. Here it is, and there's those three names. It's now asking, I'm going to put in a subject. We're going to call it a test. We're going to type in our message, and we're going to press the red button and hit send. Now those are fictitious emails, so those emails are going to bounce. They're not real. But just wanted to give you an example of how the beginning part of how mail merge works. We're going to get into more detail with personalization and some of the other features in our future videos. But this gets you set up with the download of the extension and just a brief introduction into how GMAS works. So we'll see you next for our next video. Thanks for watching.